Hi everyone and welcome back to another movie of the week and the movie of this week was Amazing Spider-Man from 2012 so if you haven't watched it, watch it now. If you're new here for movie of the week, we do a movie every single week and then uh, in 2024 we're doing franchises and reboots so I'm actually doing four different Spider-Man movies. So the movie for last week was Spider-Man 2002 which was Tommy McGuire and this is Amazing Spider-Man uh, from 2012, Andrew Garfield, so, and I don't want to reveal the next two Spider-Man movies that we're doing, but anyway, so if you haven't watched my video yet for Spider-Man from 2002, watch that first, and then watch this. So I have to say something, I had to take notes when I was watching this movie, and it's just something I haven't done yet for movie of the week, is had to actually like take a notes like I kept everything up here and I feel like I've been doing a good job like when I've done do these videos like talking about all the points I saw and stuff you know sometimes once why I'll miss something or whatever but usually a lot of times I don't I mean I haven't had to take notes yet but this time I had to take notes and you know back years ago I did brow reviews which would be like reviews of like TV shows that were you know, just going live or whatever. And for that, I like actually took notes. I mean, that was like my first thing I've ever really done on this channel. And yeah, I never thought I would have to do that for movie of the week is take notes, but here we are. And I think it's especially poignant this year when we're talking about franchises and reboots, there's just, you know, so much to talk about and comparing this Spider-Man movie with the last Spider-Man movie. So I just need to take notes. I mean, I don't know maybe for the next two videos because they're also Spider-Man, I'll need to take notes, but I don't know, hopefully going forward I don't take notes, it's just something that I felt like was really important because I didn't want to miss out on anything, there's so much to talk about, this is going to be a long video, FYI. Now I've seen these movies before, like Spider-Man movies a lot of times before, um, but I remember as a kid watching this one and being so scared. <laughs> Cause the lizard being so so scared now you're probably also wondering why i picked these two movies uh to start out with spider-man and when i do the next two movies i think it's gonna make sense so i picked the first tom mcguire one and i also picked the first andrew garfield one and i think you know the reasons i picked those is because it's like kind of seeing like the origin story of like how they are spider-man and so i think it's like even crazy you know watching these two back to back is like comparing um the differences because obviously like I I think like last time I was really like watching these Spider-Man movies I watched like all the Tobey Maguire and then I watched all the Andrew Garfield but when you take it where you compare the first Tobey Maguire and the first Andrew Garfield like you can see so much more because obviously things happen in the next few movies I mean something I also want to point out is like how many different Spider-Mans we have and I feel like when I say the movie for next week and you know, you probably already know where I'm going with it, but it's just kind of crazy how many Spider-Mans we've had. We've had, you know, and a lot of other superheroes, we've had, you know, a lot of Batmans over the years and a lot of Supermans over the years, but there's something about the Spider-Mans where I feel like it was, yeah, we've had these three Spider-Mans, but they've all been like, kind of like so close together, like not a lot of time. Because Tobey Maguire's first movie was 2002, then his second movie was 2004 third movie is 2007 and then this is five years later they were like already like we need a new spider-man and so then i mean 2002 and 2012 is 10 years later but still like from the third Tobey Maguire movie to the first Andrew Garfield movie that was five years and then from this movie to uh I guess Tom Holland will you know talk about that when we get there if you already know where I'm going um you know it's even less so I think it's it's kind of interesting like I wonder why they wanted to have like so many Spider-Man movies like I don't know maybe the Spider-Man franchise did so well and so they wanted to like you know bring it back and just have it in a different light like I'm not exactly sure the reasoning you know it's interesting because Tony Maguire movies are Spider-Man 1, Spider-Man 2, Spider-Man 3 and then Andrew Garfield's is called Amazing Spider-Man and you're like where is that coming from and then Tom Holland or like Spider-Man and then like something like a word or something else so it's kind of interesting how they all take that but anyway we're gonna start talking about the differences and everything and again like this lizard thing scared me so much as a kid like why did they do that so in this one I feel like the parents also my notes are a little bit out of order because originally I wasn't taking notes and then I was watching and I was like let me take notes so it's a little bit out of order I was just like going with it when I did so right from the beginning, it's like his parents were more involved, like his parents, his like dad worked 
for the no I don't even know the company Osborne Nova Corp whatever in the other movie he had like that friend who was like his dad was the scientist but in this movie there was no friend they also had the scientist you know it's it's like in the first movie he was just you know being pressured to create this thing but in this one it kind of felt a little bit more personal because he you know is missing part of his arm and so he also had that like personal reason wanting to create something i felt like this is like more science based sorry i'm like keep looking at my notes and doing this but this this is a little bit more scientific based something that i also noticed was different was so in the first move in toby Maguire's, i'm not gonna say first way i'm just gonna toby Maguire's movie because then we're gonna confuse toby Maguire and your girlfriend we're gonna just do that Tommy Aguirre's first movie, they started in high school, but then it was like kind of they were out of high school and they were just doing something. But then this one, they were still like in high school the entire movie. And so I wonder if they just like wanted to make it like more high, like it just, you know, I feel like, cause then the, the Tommy Aguirre's movie just felt like it was like a long time and this one like was shorter cause it was just, yeah. So also in this movie, the love interest is Gwen, it's not MJ and I think it's something like I okay so I don't really know I never read the Spider-Man comics I don't really read any comics I feel like the superhero that I know the most lo most lore about is Superman and so Superman had you know Lois Lane and Lana Lang and so I think it's the same thing with Spider-Man it's like MJ and Gwen are the two love interests and we actually see Gwen a little bit in Tobey Maguire's movies I forget if she appears in the second one or maybe just the third one um uh, because we're obviously not talking about that we're talking about Tobey Maguire's first movie so, but yeah, they had the love interest be Gwen and they had it be like, you know, because in Tobey Maguire, like in the first movie, he's not really with MJ. This, you know, he gets with Gwen, you know, they're dating and stuff. So there's that. And like Gwen is also like, she has more agency because she's like a scientist and she's like helping. And so even though it's like something that is so like, you know, hero journey, like needs of love, just like whatever. They gave her a little bit more agency, which I liked in everything. In the first, not first, I keep doing that. In Tommy Barry's movie, you know, he was dealing with that newspaper, which he was kind of working for too, um, that was trying to expose him. And then in this one, they have it to be the police. And so Gwen's father works for the police. So they have like that instead of the newspaper. So I want to talk about like some about like the uncle dying. So obviously, you know, it wasn't exactly like the same way that the uncle died, but it was like the same way. You know what I'm saying? It's like the same thing that happened where Andrew Garfield was kind of like mad at someone. So he like let this bad guy go and then the bad guy kills his uncle. And so it's, you know, it's not written exactly the same way, but it was, it's basically has that like same effect. It's same like reasoning and like that's what makes Andrews, Peter, them like l like become Spider-Man and train and everything and trying to look for this man, which I feel like was a little bit elevated more than Toby's Spider-Man. I don't know. Something else that I'm wondering is like with this Spider-Man, did they base it off of Toby Maguire's movie? Like when they're like you know rewriting, because I feel like obviously with a lot of reboots, they base it off of the reboot, like the 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 original movie. They base it off that, but when you know it's based on a comic are they trying to base it off the comic or are they trying to base it off the movie like i wonder that like anything so before i talk about other stuff i want to talk about spike lee's cameo like he tries to make a cameo in like a lot of these movies i think he does and so a lot of people say his cameo was like the greatest in this movie and it was, it was a good cameo so i want to talk a little bit more about gwen so like um the first date he meets the parents but but anyway Gwen learns that he's Peter Parker, <laughs> like, in the first movie, and so, like, that's why she's, like, kind of helping him, and it's an ally, but, like, obviously, that's very different than Tommy Fryer's Spider-Man, where um, MJ doesn't know who he is, no one knows who he is, and, yeah, so it's, it's interesting that they decided to go down this thing, because it's such a big thing in superhero movies, when it's revealing the identity, and then at the end, Gwen's dad learns who he is, and, he like then helps out and then Gwen's dad dies and it's something where in like movies like is it really needed to kill someone like in these movies it's something so much with the hero's journey they're like if we have an opportunity to kill someone let's do it because then it will further along like the hero in his journey and it just makes me really mad I think yeah with the lizards like the whole battle scene at the end is like the third act and like that's the thing about Tommy McGuire's you know, movie is that the bad guy just wanted to get back at Spider-Man because he stopped him from doing what he wanted to do was get payback. And so in this one, like the guy, like 
you know, necessarily wasn't just after Peter Parker. He wanted to make everyone like lizards like him. So I think that's what really scared me is like the possibility of becoming a blizzard and they did it in New York City and I'm from New York City so I think that's like what really scared me as a kid. But yeah, I think that's like very different and I was just like, why did they have to go down this lizard path? Like it just, it's not nice. And I think Tobey Maguire is like not just in this first movie but in the next two movies too. I think he's like the better villains. So this has been a very long video. I think I thought I originally was going to be longer, but I think because I had these notes, I was able to get through them pretty quickly. I kind of kind of went over everything I needed to go over. So yeah, it's kind of interesting just kind of comparing like this movie with Tommy Wire's movie. I think this one also had like more CGI and more elements in that way, just because it's like 10 years later, they can do more with technology. But I think, you know, getting to the new degree of like why they wanted to redo Spider-Man, I don't have the answer to that. I don't have the answer here, but yeah. So yeah, if you haven't guessed it already, <laughs> the movie that we're doing for next week is Spider-Man Homecoming in 2017. So that's actually Tom Holland's like first Spider-Man movie, even though that's not his first Spider-Man appearance. And we'll definitely talk about that when we talk about the video. So anyway, comment down your thoughts about Tell Me Your Spider-Man and Andrew Garfield's Spider-Man and then watch you know, Spider-Man Homecoming for next week. If you don't see Tom Holland, you're watching the wrong movie. Okay, thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and bye.